Hello everybody, welcome to Mining Modern, I'm Corbin Hostler, and this is our combo deck, our Devoted Druid Vizier of Remedy combo deck. Now, I don't think we can keep this hand with nothing in it but double quarter calling. Um, this one much better though. Alright, so what our deck wants to do is assemble Vizier of Remedy, the new card from Amon Cat that prevents one minus one counter from going on a creature you control. Uh, we assemble that with, with Devoted Druid, which... Uh, can put a minus one counter on itself to untap, and those two cards allow us to have infinite green mana. We'll then use Duskwatch Recruiter here. Um, I'm going to keep the scavenging news. We'll go ahead and keep. We'll use Duskwatch Recruiter here, then then draw through our deck, find a hang uh, uh, walking ballista, and then make the walking ballista 2020 and kill him with it. So that's uh, that's the deck. Pretty straightforward. We even have Simeon Spirit Guide in here to speed things up. So um, it's it's straightforward, but we'll see. It top uh, made top 20 of a uh, SCG uh, opener classic or something last week. Um, so I thought it was worth worth checking out here. Now Duskwatch bites the dust here, but uh, that at least means we get to get a scavenging news out. Which we can use to, I guess, eat our Duskwatch. We do have uh, Eternal Witness in the deck. So we'll see we may just eat up his graveyard. Not sure what our opponent's on quite yet here. Is it black? Okay, it's an Orzov signet. Interesting. Can't say I expected that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, no need to eat anything here. Don't know what this signifies. Kind of scary though. Okay, well, <laughs> this is the announcement. I knew this was going to happen. It's, I didn't put this. The Simeon Spirit Guides were in the list that that did well. That's why I'm playing them. But uh, it feels pretty bad when it looks like this, right? I guess let's get in there for three. Um, I'm not going to eat my creature. I don't think it's worth it. Um, I don't want to make drawing Eternal Witness bad. You know what I would even, yeah, or for that matter, drawing um, Eldritch Evolution, turning on Noble Hierarch into an Eternal Witness, I'd get back to Duskwatch. So there's a couple copies. Um, I mean, it's possible you want to put the counter on there and just try to kill him a little faster, but I, I kind of doubt it. Well, it looks like our Path to Exile is going to go away here. Unless he really wants to take the Simeon Spirit Guide. Unlucky. Okay. Now he's down to... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. It's a Liliana. Yep. I'd like to sacrifice this Noble Hierarch. All right. Well, we can kill Lily at least. That's step one. Oh, if only I had one more mana, I'd make this Walking Bliss a 2-2 and kill the Liliana. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack the Liliana, I think. You know what, we could just not, gosh, so we could not attack it and attack him. And because discarding the Spirit Guide doesn't matter, but I think that's, that's a mistake. He just fatal pushes our guy and we never catch up. Let's just take it off the board and play out our 1-1 uh, one, one Walking Ballista here. Well, despite uh, a lot of things going wrong, uh, a mulligan upon having double discard in Liliana, we're not that far behind right now. Oh, no. Well, now we might be. Okay, well, discard this. That, does, that doesn't matter. Sack this walking ballista. Sack our land. All right, I hope Scavenger News is ready to go all the way here. I see why he has signets now. If his last card's a removal spell, we're probably dead. Uh, but if it's not, it's a Dread Wanderer. Okay, I actually don't care about that. Well, this is pretty interesting here. I guess at this point, we just beat him down. Um, yeah, we can't cast Eternal Witness anyways. Yeah, we're on the Scavenger News beatdown. Hope he doesn't draw a removal. Hey, that's actually pretty handy. On our next turn, uh, we can use it to shoot the Dread Wanderer and then eat the Dread Wanderer with Scavenging News. Well, I, I guess this is just basically white, black. Okay, that's a land. We're, we might get there. I can't cast that. I can hit him for five here. Actually, I can hit him for 
six. In retrospect, I may have missed eating my walking ballista last turn. Uh, he's got to find removal here. Oh my gosh, we got there. Okay, so it's white black smallpox dot deck. Pretty sure ley lines gonna be good here. Uh, also, that's probably it. That's probably all that's good here. All right, Simeon spirit guides, huh? I'm gonna cut a couple. I have no idea if this is right or not. Uh, the path to exiles, I guess. I mean, he's got some sort of. He's got to have some sort of creature, right? Well, that's not necessarily how I expected to win a match, but why not, right? We got there. Win a game anyways. We won a match. I have no idea about these spirit guys. I don't know if you're supposed to always play four. If you're supposed to always cut the four for sideboarding. I don't really know. I do like the idea of, of having access to a couple to um, to maybe get the, the free, free win. But uh, this is a keep. Yeah, I like this. A lot of good cards in this hand. Of course, we can get wrecked if he just has, um, you know, smallpox on the play or something. I guess this probably takes our Duskwatch recruiter here. Yep. Cord not the best draw. I guess we play the Ballista because it can attack. Well, Spell Guide allows us to get... Hmm. I'll just play the Ballista. It can attack. Well, maybe not, because we do combo Ballista. Well, you know what? Ballista it gets Liliana, though. Our opponent chose to draw? Am I reading that right? Or do you miss a land draw? We chose to draw. Okay, whatever. Oh, this smallpox is going to hurt next turn. Land, please. Uh, I'm actually gonna not play this spell Skype because if he plays with Liana makes a sack, we can kill Liana with Ballista. But I have a feeling I'm gonna end up path to exiling my own walking ballista here. When he when he plays smallpox on us. Oh, that can't be good. Four mana. Ooh, okay, well that's unlucky. Huh. Yep. Okay, well. This is a good one. Uh, so we don't quite have the win in hand here, but we're not that far off, depending on what our opponent has. You know what, that doesn't matter. Well, if he hits our Eldritch Evolution, it does. Because if we, if we we could Eldritch Evolution Ballista into Vizier of Remedy. I mean, see, he takes a cord. We're so far away from actually... Well, okay, he's taking it all, but yeah, there goes the Evolution. Yeah, we could have, and we could have had infinite mana on this this turn here. Um, which would have been pretty good. And we had that cord, so we actually would have won. Alas, that did not happen. Um, what is this, minus six to shore months of things? Okay, that's bad for us. May as well cast this collected company and see what we hit here. If we have Vizier, we can go off. <laughs> we didn't. We did not hit the Vizier. <laughs> oh, that was a bad. That was a bad company. All right. Um. Yep. Okay. Well, that wasn't great. Still have a lot of live draws though. We have access to more mana at least next turn. He could have so many things to kill us, but we'll see. He's doing nothing, though. That, that wasn't what we wanted, uh, but I will take it. So I can attack with a... Th so I actually can attack with a Devoted Druid? Which would be a 2-4? To go with this thing, I guess we may as well. It's better than attacking with a 3-3 that trades with all his dudes.
destroy up to three, and so I think we can redirect all of that to uh, to Spellskite. In which case, I probably should have used this because I cost one mana or one life to use rather than tapping this, which would have. Oh, he just wants more. Okay, he's giving us a lot of live draws here. Okay, well, let's go digging. Okay, there's a lot of options here for this Horizon Canopy. <laughs> Alright, draw a card. Leyline, huh? I guess I'll play it, I just won't be happy about it. He's got a Mutavault over there now, too. It's the old 2-6 spell skyed attacking. Alright, I guess we'll just play the ley line. This is pretty good. It doesn't actually stop the uh the Soren ult. I'm hoping we can redirect them all to play to spell sky. I'm not positive how that works, but we're gonna find out. Oh, well, that's bad. Should I just go ahead and path to exile it? Uh, I don't know if it's going to matter. We're going to be... I guess it doesn't matter. Well, that's unfortunate. This Soren's going to hurt. Oh my gosh, he's still making vampires, huh? I mean, he's just giving us lots of chances here. I mean, Spellskite's gone, I guess. And, all right, he's coming in finally. I'll take it all this turn. Alright, there's the cord. Gosh, I'm gonna have to make so much mana to pump up this walking ballista. I can do it at instant speed though. So I'm gonna do that. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's enough. So I can attack with walking ballista here. Okay, that's good. He's got two cards in hand and mana open, so I'm not gonna. Um, I, I'm gonna wait. I'm not. I'm not going to try to be greedy here. If he ults Soren, then we'll try it, and then we'll go for it at the end of the turn. But I want to let him. Interesting. Okay. Hey, he's ready to beat down. I guess we may as well go for it now. Well, you know what? Now let's take five this turn. Maybe he'll maybe he'll spend his maybe he'll play a creature. Smallpox, huh? Um, that's fine, right? So it all comes down to what his last card is. And we may as well just go for it now. I'm going to have to click so many times for walking bullets if this works. Hopefully he'll see it in scoop. Alright, well here goes, I guess. It's not that many clicks, right? Oh my gosh. Just roughly a billion. Well, okay. <laughs> let's uh, see how this goes. <laughs> Alright, let's see if he'll see the... Uh, maybe he'll see it in scoop. Please? Oh my gosh. Come on. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, there we assembled the combo and got there. I, I was surprised he didn't ultimate his Soren, but uh, it worked out. He maybe just wanted to keep the. He was just scared of our board or wanted to keep the pressure on uh, with the one ones. I'm not sure, uh, but we got there. There you go. Combo successful. Walking Bliss is so good for the strategy. If it's in your hand, it's great. If it's in play, it's great. Uh, and you get there. So good match.